Good morning, everybody. This is uh, going to be my Sunday walk around the property. Again, I hope this picture doesn't uh, jump around too much in that. Like I said, I uh, can't wait to get a hold of a gimbal in that and kind of take a look at uh, what's happened during the week. As you can see, looking down my garden rows here, of course we picked the beans again and wow what a crop of beans incredible and that everything else seems to be doing pretty good and I'll try to keep her slow here the Sun uh, just came up and peeked through the clouds it hasn't rained for about a day and a half and that but uh, Still uh, pretty overcast skies here. And as I approach the end of the driveway, kind of take a look up at the coffee trees replanted and of course our banana field there. And kind of walk down the road here a little bit. And I'm uh, so proud of the, all the work we did this week. Our major project was uh, cleaning up the road. And uh, it had been a number of years since we even tried doing that. And as you can see, already started... Uh, planting some flowers in that here and we'll plant some brush going up the road here and how nice and clean it finally looks as I turn around and head downhill towards our neighbors at the bottom down here they're uh, they're really landlocked in here this is the only road out from down below and it goes all the way down to a creek at the bottom here so but as you can see wow what a difference a few days make walking down the road here and of course as I pan into our property here you can see our well and the two bean fields which we just harvested for the second time and just an absolutely amazing production amazing I uh, didn't know how expect the kind of production we're getting out of our beans I wish I had about uh, five six more cases of uh, canning <laughs> jars here uh, it would be so easy to be able to do that and of course our peppers there and then uh, Pa planted uh, the rest of Beth's tomatoes she had up in her garden by the house and our pond walk down the road here they finished clearing out Tom's side of the road here yesterday I've still got to go through there's a lot of small stuff here so I'll probably yet later today bring the rake down and uh, kind of go through this the small stuff is what I like for the compost piles uh, because it decomposes so rapidly so I take our lawn rake and go up and down the rows here and we'll get another sack or two and as you can see there's already sacks lining here and a pile of brush here that we need to take to I've got a burn spot down below and of course the fence is up here and as we run down here we can see 
you know, uh, what a difference this has just made. And how clean the road is here. Just pan slowly back up, up the road here. And down across to our pond. I'm trying to see if I can kind of get through the fence here. So hold on. If we get a lot of jiggling around here, try to find a spot where there's a little bit of a gap in the fence here. I used to be able to, uh, up to a few days ago, we used to be able to just walk through here. Uh, But, uh, and of course our terraces and the pond here. Oh, kind of a uh, no spot here to get through the fence. Oh yeah, I'm trying to crawl through the fence here. <laughs> without getting hooked up too bad. <clears throat> and that didn't work. <laughs> I kind of fell down here. So, we'll walk down. Yeah, like I said, that fence was down on the ground here a few days ago. But I got my shoe hooked on it, putting my feet through, so, And down at the pond here. And as you can see down below, the lower rice fields down below, and pan across to our pond here, which is nearly full. And take a walk across the dam and back up the hill so I hope you've all stuck with me this far and I hope I'm not bouncing around too much here but uh, get an idea of uh, just a, a Sunday morning walk around which I normally do every morning because it gives me an idea of what has been done and what needs to be done for a particular day in order to keep the farm running and keep it running as smooth as possible back up from uh, down below and as you can see I'm approaching the pile of all the green stuff, grass and weeds, that was cut down by the road. And we'll take the grass cutter to it and chop it up into small pieces. As I pan around, you can see Beth here with uh, breeding the pigs. We got our male tied up outside. Our female has uh, got the white blood which lets us know she's ready to breed. She's done now. No, she's done now. Beth says she's done. So success for that part. Well, I'm going to let you go. I will uh, another one this afternoon. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is an important part of farming to keep our piglets coming. And our mom here, of course, coming over to greet me. So... We'll say goodbye for now, best wave, yeah, goodbye, goodbye. for now, and <laughs> goodbye everybody, and thanks for viewing our video, like and subscribe, and we'll see you again real soon.